Next level brand assets. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to take your brand assets to a new level by adding content and also by interlinking. Up to now, you have learned how to create your brand assets. And you've also learned how to add related content from other locations. We do this to prime our pages and accounts. But now it is time to take your assets to the next level. Quality content. Now creating your own content is an option. It can be time consuming, however, but it will make it easier for you to outsource content later on. And you need to become a product and niche expert and creating content for your assets will help you achieve that. Plus you have total control over the quality because you are creating it. Now you can pay someone to create it too, but initially we recommend you do it yourself. Unique content. Once your assets have their seed content, you want more unique content. This is especially important for your website. With Facebook, you can mix in shares of other content from other people. And the same goes for Pinterest. You can use any type of content for Facebook. Images are particularly effective. You can use them on their own with a short snippet of text, or you can add them to full-blown articles or posts. Basically, images attract attention and clicks. If you post an article with no image, it doesn't stand out on the Facebook feed. If you add an interesting image, then you're far more likely to get someone to click on your content. Video also works incredibly well on Facebook, but do keep them short. And don't worry, we're going to talk a little bit more about videos later in the lesson. Facebook products. Use your products for content once you've got them up and selling. Recreate your listing as a post, including the image and bullet points. Also make posts announcing sales or promotions. You can also create a video of your product being used. And also create a promo video for your product. All these work really well on Facebook. Your website. Essentially your website is similar to Facebook. You can add any type of content. However, you should focus on high quality niche related articles and add separate pages for your products too. And on those pages include a purchase link that goes to your listing. In other words, you use a link saying click here to buy this and whatever the product is. With Twitter, you have more restrictions. You can't post entire articles. So instead, use images as much as possible with a short piece of text and a link. And use a link to your other pages, in other words, to Facebook or Pinterest or YouTube or even your website. And don't forget your Amazon listing too. You can also retweet. It is not just about original content with Twitter. We use Twitter more to send traffic to our other pages, but also to our Amazon listing. Pinterest. For Pinterest, use engaging images. Lifestyle images work really well. For the silicon spatula example, an image of someone actually using the silicon spatula to cook. And infographics are especially effective. Basically, an infographic is a picture with text content on the picture itself. Now, for infographics and lifestyle images, use Fiverr or one of our resources from inside the private vault and also repin other related images. This is the fastest and easiest way to add images to your boards and keep your account active. YouTube, you need to add videos. YouTube is all about videos, but have them created for you if you're not very familiar with creating videos yourself. Again, Fiverr is awesome for simple videos. If you go to Fiverr, look or search for scribe videos also known as whiteboard videos. You've probably seen a lot of these. It's where you see an animation of a pen writing on a board and the content appears. These are very simple and a really easy way to add videos to your YouTube channel. You can literally write a short post and have someone at Fiverr turn it into a video for you. Create a simple video about your brand to start with, for example. Self-promotion. Your main two targets should be your Facebook brand page and the posts on it and your Amazon listing to start with. Always add links to your Facebook page on your other sites when you add any new content. Do not add more than two links to any piece of content. When applicable, add a link to your Amazon listing if the content is something that might help convert. There is no doubt that Amazon absolutely loves external traffic. 
especially from powerhouse sites like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, etc. But there is a happy medium between traffic and conversion. Conversion is very important for your Amazon ranking. Do not just send any and all traffic to your listing. Make sure it's something that will help convert. Paying for content. In the short term, use Google or check your private vault. Long term, you can employ someone and you will get to that stage eventually. Fiverr is an awesome resource for videos and graphics. You can get really simple, quick videos and excellent graphics done really cheap. However, their article gigs tend to be poor quality, so we don't recommend you get your articles created there. Search Google for buy articles. You'll find loads of resources where you can go and have someone create an article for you. And most of these are relatively cheap if you look at it from a time perspective. In other words, the cost versus how much time it would take you to do it. All the assets in this module are incredibly powerful. They will really help your business. So treat them as such. Look after them by posting on a regular basis. Look after them and they will look after you. So what's next? So you've learned how to improve your brand assets. In the next lesson, you're going to create your email account and learn all about autoresponders. Action, start adding more unique content to your brand assets. But that's it for this lesson. Take care.